13 inch MacBook Air Retina model A1932 years 2018 and 2019. Battery replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is completely shut down and flip it over. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. The back cover is secured with 10 pentalope screws. The top four are slightly different and the rest of the six are short. Go ahead and remove them and set them in a line so that you remember where they go. Once the screws are removed, lift up the MacBook. We'll need to pry apart the cover. It's clipped in. So with just a little bit of resistance, you should be able to pop it right off. Before we proceed, we need to pull the power on the battery. Go ahead and locate the battery connection. And with a plastic tool, gently pry in and push it out of its socket. We'll have to remove the speakers first. Starting with the right speaker, you see on the bottom it has this little tab. You can just twirl around with the screwdriver and pull it out this way. This is the safest technique that prevents it from snapping. Disconnect the speaker from the logic board. And now go ahead and pry underneath it. It still has some tape near the logic board uh, that will require some resistance. On the left side speaker, go ahead and disconnect it from the logic board as well with a plastic tool. Uh, remove that uh, tab and then do the same exact thing and just remove it. This battery cover can just be ripped off and then glued on later with double sided tape. Go ahead and remove two T5 screws that are securing the battery to the MacBook. There are three more tabs on each battery side. Go ahead and uh, pry underneath those and wind them up, just like we did the speakers. And although this is an effective way not to rip it, there is another way of doing it. And that's when you first just get the tab started. I'll show it right here. At the end here, I bounded it up. And then at the very end, I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to pull it out just like that. And that's another way of doing it on the right side as well. Uh, and you can see that ideally this is the fastest and best way to do this. But unfortunately, as these tabs get older, they can easily snap when you do this. And so winding it is always going to be the safest way of doing it. Now with those annoying tabs out of the way, we need to remove these four screws. These are T5 screws. There are two on each side of the battery. These are the main screws that are holding the battery in place. With them removed, you can go ahead and lift up the battery and just kind of uh, undo the trackpad cable from it. It's kind of glued on. And you can just slide it out without ever having to remove the logic board. It's a tight fit, but if you're careful, you should be able to do it no problem. Reassembly. Placing back the uh, battery underneath the cable, you can just gently work it. Make sure not to bend or rib the cable. Just take your time with this part. Once you set it in, secure back the two T5 screws on the right side and then the two silver T5 screws on the left side. With the screws attached, go ahead and secure the two T5 screws for the battery connection near the fan. Apply double sided tape and place back the left speaker and click it into the logic board. Apply double sided tape and place back the right speaker and clip it to the logic board. Reconnect the battery power cable to the logic board by sliding it into its socket. Put back the cover and give it a nice firm push when you have it aligned so that it clicks in. Go ahead and put back the four screws. As you can see, the longest two go in the center and then the other ones go in each corner. 
and then the shorter screws all go around the remainder of the contour of the Mac. This concludes the tutorial. Help support our content by subscribing.